A lecturer at the Faculty of Agriculture at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Professor Richard Iwa, says courses in aflatoxins should be institutionalized into the country's basic schools. He believes every Ghanaian must have basic knowledge on the disease, its causes, and how to avoid them. Professor Iwa was speaking at a validation workshop on the draft policy for aflatoxins in food and feed. Aflatoxins are toxic compounds produced by certain molds. These are usually found in food produced from grains and other food crops. The consumption of such foods can result in the infection or development of chronic diseases such as liver cancer, hemorrhages, oedema, or immediate death. For this reason, the partnership for aflatoxins control in Africa formed with its headquarters in Addis Ababa to provide financial support to nations committed to aflatoxins control. The policy currently being finalized in the country is championed by the Science and Technology Policy Research Institute, CSIR, and the Alliance for a Green Revolution in Africa. Already, the National Steering Committee for Aflatoxin Control in Ghana has held various meetings to identify strategies health effects and other formulation processes to the document. The two-day meeting would see the stakeholders validate and adopt the policy and draft an action plan for its implementation. The document would provide an effective and practical way to control it in the country with majority of Ghanaian foods made out of foods easily exposed to aflatoxins. Professor Richard Ewa said it is critical that everyone learns more about it to control it. As a major subject, it must be brought up at the university level where you teach all the different kinds of aflatoxins, how aflatoxins affect the, what is the data to support, how aflatoxins uh, affect health. These things have been studied by many scientists abroad and also in Ghana here. Uh, we need to teach them. I did their research to surprise you. And I was asking a simple question to us agri extension officers. Just to show the number of people and the percentage of those interviewed who are aware of aflatoxin. Many of them didn't know.